So it's a Sunday afternoon here. I'm in uh, Turlock, California. And, uh, you know, I was watching uh, someone's video and, you know, one of the comments was, uh, America's the, the greatest country in the world. And uh, I had to think about this, you know, um, recently I tried to make a medical appointment and uh, the appointment that they made for me was uh, 30 days out. You know, not, yeah, so uh, anyway, but when I was in the Philippines, I was able to go to the uh, doctor's, go into the doctor's office, basically without an appointment, and be seen that same day for about one-tenth of the price. So I'm, you know, so I'm wondering when I hear this, you know, America's the greatest country in the world, what is the uh, reasoning behind this? Uh, you know, I, I do think America's a, a great place and there are many benefits to it, but when I see this, I often think that, uh, that the people that say this, they've never stayed in another country for any ex extended period of time. Because there are some things that here that just, uh, I think, are not good. You know, like waiting for 30 days for a doctor's appointment. You know, and they said, and this person also said, you know, everybody wants to come to America. And uh, I don't find that anymore. I, I know that's what people used to say. You know, maybe uh, as little as seven, eight, ten years ago. But now when I talk to people that are looking to relocate, yeah, a lot of them still say they'd like to move to the U.S. But the majority of professionals uh, that I've spoken with, uh, they would rather uh, move to Canada. Maybe it's because of the uh, easier immigration policies. I, I'm just not sure. The other thing that was mentioned on this comment was they said America has the uh, strongest currency in the world also. And, uh, you know, most countries have been, you know, America's been the, uh, the main currency for many, many, many years. Uh, and, and that's all been great. It's been a real benefit to America. But the way things are looking right now, it looks like uh, there's going to be a change eventually to uh, perhaps a digital currency. Some countries, uh, I forget which one, but they're actually using, uh, you know, Bitcoin. So, uh, yeah, so all of these things can change. You know, and, uh, you know, the next thing that comes to mind to me is the crime. You know, and if you watch the news or, you know, pretty much anywhere, almost, at least in California, the crime rate is, is really high, especially in major cities like uh, San Francisco, or Los Angeles, you know, it's like, uh, it's, you know, it's not really even safe to walk down the street at night. However, if you're in, uh, let's say, Southeast Asia, if you're in Thailand, for example, then you can, you can walk out on the street at, at two o'clock in the morning and no one will bother you. People are out there having a good time. You know, they're not doing smash and grabs at the uh, local malls, you know, to uh, take everything inside the stores. You, you just don't see that, you know. And in fact, you know, I was with somebody and they had left their, tel their cell phone on a table. And uh, when the person realized it, you know, we went back and that phone was still there still there after over an hour sitting on the table no one had taken it 
if that was in at least in California that phone would probably be gone in about 10 minutes if that you know so uh, yeah so I I'm just curious you know what why do uh, what makes America the best country in the world you know I'd love to hear some reasoning behind this and uh, I, and I'm not saying America is not a great country it it is but uh, you know crimes at an all-time high uh, and and I don't know about these other states you know I some of these people are uh, they're in Kentucky and stuff like that you know perhaps the inflation isn't so high there because they're you know this other person commented uh, hey I, I don't see these outrageous prices you know these prices are okay over here but in California they're sure not okay you know prices are uh, through the roof you know so it's still like okay are these people just uh, not really out there not really seeing things they just go into one or two stores and then they give their opinions maybe they don't follow uh, the news I I don't know anyway it's just a little bit frustrating I think if uh, I think everyone should you know travel the world a little bit stay in a, a different country for 30 days or so so you can really compare you know and uh, you know before you make these broad statements how great any country is you know whether it's America whether it's Switzerland whether it's the Philippines you know go out go visit a place and stay there for a month you know don't go to the tourist area for a week and then say oh the prices are so high you know it's not such a great place you know stay there for a month stay there for two months get to know the place get to know the people and then you know then you can really say oh okay america is the best country in the world if that's what you still think you know but i do think uh, if that was the case then why are all these people watching uh, youtube channels you know people that are living in the philippines and southeast asia or other countries you know like Mexico like Ecuador you know if the prices are the same well, they probably wouldn't be living there in the first place anyway I just wanted to get this rant off my chest and uh, I'd love to hear an opinion from somebody hey thanks so much for watching whatever time it is uh, wherever you are have a wonderful day or evening thanks